Hey guys, welcome back to podcast nine and three quarters. I'm your host, the Half-Blood Princess. In this video, I'm going to talk about the history of the Shrieking Shack. But before I get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. The Shrieking Shack was an abandoned house in Hogsmeade. It was only used so that Remus Lupin could have a place for his monthly transformations into a werewolf in secret. And in safety, Madame Pomfrey used to escort Lupin to the Shrieking Shack before his transformations. Villagers used to think the shack was haunted because they heard screams coming from the inside. The yells and shouts heard by villagers were really Lupin biting and scratching himself due to lack of humans to infect. The shack actually had no working doors or windows that allowed entry or exit of the premises. The entrance was through a tunnel under the Whomping Willow on Hogwarts school grounds. This allowed Remus to pass through unnoticed. One year, Sirius thought it would be funny to lure his arch nemesis Severus Snape to the shack where Lupin was due for his monthly transformation. In order to eliminate Snape from spying on them, James saved Severus in time, but not before Snape witnessed what Lupin was, though he was forbidden from telling anyone else. In 94 was when Hermione and Harry were led into the Shrieking Shack when Sirius Black, as a dog, dragged Ron off into the underground passage. While inside the shack, Harry then found out who had really betrayed his parents, and Scabber's true identity was revealed. During the confrontation, Remus Lupin and Severus Snape also entered the shack. Remus entered to assist Sirius in exposing the true betrayer, and Snape attempted to capture Sirius. The Shrieking Shack was later used by Lord Voldemort and several of his Death Eaters in May of 1998 as a hideout during the Battle of Hogwarts. Severus Snape was killed by Nagini in this very building while Harry, Hermione, and Ron watched from their hiding spot. They watched as Nagini bit into the neck of Snape on Voldemort's orders, as he incorrectly believed Snape was the master of the Elder Wand. Let me know your thoughts about the Shrieking Shack in the comment section, and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you, bye!